It's the day of reckoning, Rex. The day of reckoning. <laughs> the day of wrecking. The forecast. To blow or not to blow? That was the question 48 hours ago. To blow the forecast. I think that everybody took a turn at that. Every human and machine has taken two or three swings at this, and I think we all strike out. Wind is from the north at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. There's a brighter sky developing to the east and northeast where the air is coming from. And we picked up, oh, I don't know, <laughs> a hundredth. We do have a rain gauge, we'll go look at it. Major disappointment, just about every guidance suite at one point or another, whether the Euro or an NAM or a GFS or a GEM or a UK Met, had offered up more than an inch of rain for us. And I am getting hit by raindrops right now. Do drops on rose petals. Boy, do we need a lot more than this. Going right to the gauges. The water temperature is in the mid 60s and the air temperature is 67 or 68. And here's the rain gauge. Are you ready? Point zero one, two, three, almost 0 0.035. So far we're off by about a 100 factor. When you forecast two to three inches of rain and you get 0 0.02 to 0 0.03, that's 100 times less rain than you forecast. It's not over. What looks so promising 24 hours ago, there was a, a low pressure system south of Nantucket, had a tight circulation, even a center. The wind around it was 40 to 45 miles an hour. And since then, the system has sort of stalled and elongated. So this morning, you have sort of a trough offshore, not even a closed low. And instead of being close to Nantucket, it's more like 300 miles east of Chatham, where the wind this morning is 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now, there's still a wind advisory for the Outer Cape from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. or something like that, 10 to 5. It may or may not verify. It, the guidance still indicates that there will be a closed low-pressure system in the Gulf of Maine, pretty much closest to where the Euro had it first, making landfall in Maine tonight. So far, there's been more rain in Connecticut than there has in eastern Massachusetts. Yeah, that's really logical. Closer to the upper level low. I don't know, the lean cold rule we use in the wintertime. Tomorrow, the low pressure system slowly moves up through Maine. Tomorrow's actually going to be quite a windy day from the west. And that should push the temperatures up when the sun comes out. So 60s today for the most part, wherever it stays gray with an onshore wind. Maybe 70 inland where you... Not getting any rain. Sorry, Linda, about that. I, least likely area for rain is that parched area near Wachusett. Uh, so, Want to see something kind of comical? The NAM high resolution guidance precipitation forecast has more rain for parts of central New York and southern Vermont than much of southern New England. Yeah, you're really laughing. Oh, what kind of hawk is that? Is that a Cooper or a kind of hawk? Kind of hawk. Uh, I guess maybe a red tail. It seems to be moving a little bit more briskly than most of the red tails. And the tail's too long. What kind of hawk is that? Thank you for paying attention and listening. Hawk. <laughs> and that's a gull. So we all blew the forecast. It just proves one thing. Weather and climate remains unpredictable. Weather does as it wants. And so this isn't over either. I mean, I'm going to do the play-by-play -play today. I think I may go to Cape Cod to try and check out the high surf advisory. We'll see. Boston buoy right now, four feet, eight seconds. Not that impressive. Yeah, the surf is probably going to be a disappointment. Oh, and it's race day in Hingham Bay, Twilight Series, and it looks like the wind is going to be from the north, northwest at 20 miles an hour, gusting maybe to 30. <laughs> That's different. We've had that wind from the southeast the last several Wednesdays. And the weather looks pretty nice. When high pressure builds to our south, especially uh, Friday into Saturday, the temperature's gonna go back into the 80s with a dew point probably coming back into the 60s. So it does look like a pretty good weekend and we only have a couple of more of those left in August. So really feeding defeated here. It's emotionally draining, even though I don't get paid to do my weather forecasts. I still invest a lot of energy and uh, experience trying to get it right. And 
Gotta get back on the horse. See you out there. What are we gonna leave you with? How about some uh, kite and foil action from yesterday when it was more windy than it is now? First I thought, wow, Rand is uh, back to the traditional kite board, but then I see over here, there, there's the foil. Ripping. That was close. Oh yeah, and I put these chairs out last evening. I thought at least the light one might blow over. <laughs>